today joined by the fabulous Christina from iDIY for this. Hello DIYer. Yes. And today we are showing you guys how to take photos of your little ones on your iPhone or Samsung, I guess, whatever, whatever you prefer. Uh, yeah. Whatever, on your phone. <laughs> Basically, you don't need a professional photographer anymore. No. Keep it simple, easy. Cheap. Everything's right here. I post so many photos of Ford and I use my iPhone. I get so many questions like, what are you using? What camera are you using? Or who took that picture for you? Yes, well, no one did. It was me and Christina <laughs> on our iPhones. In fact, that adorable photo with the bow tie. Oh, that's my favorite photo of Right here, this woman, me. she took it. <laughs> All you need is an iPhone and a couple of quick tips that we are gonna show you now. Now this would actually be a really great Father's Day gift, so check this out. All right, Christina, what is the first tip? Clean lens. Kind of a no-brainer, right? But it happens. Sometimes I'll take pictures, I'm like, ah, my phone's broken, and I'm trying to like fix things, and I realize I just have a dirty lens. That is true. Okay, you have a fancy cloth. I just use my <laughs> Whatever works, just get it clean. Tip number two. Keep it simple. White walls, white rugs on your bed, just pull back the covers, do a white sheet, just super easy. I agree, I think simple is key. I even like to keep Ford just in a diaper or naked because I just think it's really cute and chic and simple. And you can really focus on that adorable baby face instead of those overly done outfits. And then because we're keeping it simple, we don't need props or anything crazy that you have to go out and buy, but just grab some things from around the house, maybe some books, baby books, or something off of a shelf, just one simple thing. Tip number three. Always shoot in natural light, it's key. I know you're gonna wanna turn on the lights when you go in a dark room, it's just a natural habit, but you realize when you edit that it makes your photos yellow and orange and weird and natural light is your best friend. Tip number four. There's super easy things you can do that's already in your phone that make your pictures better instantly. So you're gonna tap around for lighting until you see the best light and then you tap on your subject's face so it focuses. And then if you want your picture, say it's still a little bit dark, you just take your finger and slide it up and it'll get brighter or slide it down and it gets darker. This is genius. <laughs> I actually didn't know about this until three minutes before we started shooting this video and she showed me that my iPhone could do that and honestly, you have opened up a whole new world for me. So this is very exciting. It's my favorite part. <laughs> and finally, tip number five. A good editing tool. It is the best thing in the world. I know some people are like, hashtag no filter, but I'm all about the filter. <laughs> I'm all about the filter Because you just want too. a really good photo. It's just beautiful. So <laughs> a color story is one of my favorite, favorite apps right now. Even if your photo's a little bit dark and you set some of these settings, um, Pop, for example, brings the whites forward and the colors just pop. Facetune is really good for when babies get little scratches. You can buff out the scratches or the wrinkly sheets. Yes. It's like an auto iron. You yes. just take your finger and just iron it But you up. don't actually have to iron, <laughs> which is amazing. All of the information on the apps that we love are down below, so definitely check those out. Definitely. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that we inspired you to take lots of pictures Load them up. of your babies and your kids, frame them up for Father's Day, it's a great, inexpensive gift. And make sure you check out my girl, Christina, at iDIY for this. All the information is below. Make sure you subscribe to this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.